Well, let's start with, is it safe to say that this has been in development for 30 years? <laughs> well, I, 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 yeah, I guess you could put it that way. I never quite thought of it that way, but uh, yeah, in some ways, I, I guess that's true. I mean, you know, the short was very special to me, but then the opportunity to kind of go back to the original drawings and do stop motion, black and white, 3D, and sort of thinking about all the other characters and the kids and the other monsters, it just made it feel like a whole new project. So after all of that time and all of the work that you've put into it to actually see it done, how does that feel? What's your reaction? Well, it's it's special the, this one. So I, I feel really good. I, I you know I, you know the the idea of wanting to do it in stop motion and do it in black and white three D. I feel very you know like that. I felt like this. That's the way I wanted to see it. So it's good. You know I feel good good about it. Tell me more about why it was important for you, the, the, the stop action animation and black and white. What, what was the creative process that, that settled on that? Well, I mean, black and white is important because it's a strange, it's, it's something that I can't, it, it can't really put it into words, but I just felt it was more emotional. And it, it also kind of harkens back to those old movies that I grew up liking, the old horror films. And I just thought there was something interesting about the idea of doing black and white and 3D because there's something about the, the depth and the kind of horror movie lighting that, uh, and also with these characters, I mean, there's so much work that's put into the puppets and things that the black and white 3D, I think, actually shows the, the, the artistry and the work that people have put into it, which is, you know, part of the emotional, you know, point of the film. So, you know, just all those elements felt right. It, it seems like doing stop action uh, is such a laborious process. Does it ever get to the point where it's just uh, overwhelming? Well, not for me. For the animators, that's a, you know, they're the ones that put in the long, you know, because it, it, it's like, you know, if you think about it, you know, you're taking this character and moving it 24 frames for one second of animation. So, you know, it can take an animator sometimes a week to do a shot, depending on the complexity of it. So that's the people that really were the painstaking, you know, these people, you know, these animators are in a dark room for two years, you know, but, but this thing is, with all that time and hard work, there is something special about seeing an inanimate object come to life, and so, you know, it's, you kind of, are just waiting and looking forward to the, seeing the shot come out and have it coming to life. Talk to me about your casting process and what you were looking for with the folks that ended up uh, voicing in the film. Well, because this project meant so much to me, I, I wanted to work with people who I'd worked with before who I hadn't gotten a chance to work with in a while, you know, like Catherine O'Hara, Martin Short, Winona Ryder, Martin Landau. Those are people that I love and have worked with before. So this being this kind of a project, it was really nice to, to work with those people that you love. And uh, also in the case of Martin Short and Catherine, they're so good at doing characters. And you know, that's why I asked them to play three characters because you know, they could do 10 characters. But it was just fun to see them because they're so good at kind of, you know, even in, like in one session, okay, not do that character that, you know, they sort of switch over kind of like and go get right into it. So it, you know, it's, it's fun to work with people like that on, on something like this.